Welcome to Super Excel Training and Coaching. My name is Steve Huang. In this video, you are going to learn how to do XLOOKUP with partial match. You can download this training Excel file from the link given in the description below so you can practice along. This is the fourth video in the XLOOKUP Inside Out series. If you haven't watched the previous videos, you may want to go back to start on the first one. So far in the series, all those XLOOKUP we have done, they are performing exact match. But in real life, you do not want to always match exactly. Sometimes you may want to match partially. That's where the wildcard character match type comes in in the fifth argument of the XLOOKUP function. Let's look at how that works. If you are going to practice along with a downloaded Excel file, this file we're using is SuperExcel 4 XLOOKUP Wildcard Match. Here we have a small table with the product name and the cases and dollar amount. And then on the right side, I have listed four products. And I wish to do XLOOKUP function over here to find the product and then return their corresponding sales cases in column C over here. Now, when I look for those product, I don't require the product name to match with that exactly. What I want to do is to do partial match. I want to find here the product name starting with beef, starting with beef to match with that and then return the corresponding sales cases. And for the product name starting with the word turkey to match with that, to give me the sales cases. And then put a name starting with pasta, starting with pineapple, to find that match to give me the sales cases. This will be done by an X lookup. But now we have to involve the fifth argument to do this special match type. Now, let me create a copy of the sheet so I can draw on the screen. And let me make this a little bit bigger. In this cell H11, we are going to do an X lookup function, which you knew there are six arguments in the X lookup function. And in the previous lessons, we'll have done first four arguments. But for now, let's do only the first three arguments. Let's do just the basic form. So if I have three arguments, the first argument is what you're looking for. We're looking for this beef. And you're looking for where? The second argument is a range you're looking within, which is a range of all the products. And then once we find the match, then the third argument is a range to return the corresponding value. We want to return the sales cases. That will be this range over here. Now, if we are omitting the fourth, fifth, and sixth argument, XLOOKUP will perform the exact match. And if the exact match is not being found, it will give you NA. And the lookup order will be from first to last. Over here, we're not trying to match this beef over here exactly. Instead, we want to do partial match. We want to match the product name starting with the word beef. We don't care what are those characters after the starting word, but as long as the product name starting with the word beef, that's what I want to find and match and return sales cases. For that, we need to involve the fifth argument. Now, let me remove this code in bracket. Let me put a comma after the third argument. Then the fourth argument, you understand, that's a value to return if the first argument match is not being found in second argument. And now if I omit the fourth argument, I'm going to have another comma. When you omit the fourth argument, that means when the first argument value is not being matched in the second argument, it's going to return to you an A, which is fine for this exercise. So notice over here, I do have the two comma, but between two commas, I have nothing. That means the fourth argument is omitted. Now the fifth argument, is the one we'll be working on in this video. This is a match type, which could be 0 or minus 1 or 1 
or 2. And we also have the 6 argument, if I do a lot of the comma, and the 6 argument. The 6 argument is about the lookup order. If we omit the 6 argument, it's going to look up from first to last. For now, we are going to do first to last, so we can omit the 6 argument. We're going to have just 5 arguments. Now, the fifth argument over here, which could be 0, minus 1, 1, and 2. 0 means exactly match. And when we omit the fifth argument, XLOOKUP will default to this match type 0, which means exact match. That's why earlier lessons, we omitted the fifth argument because we were doing exact match. Now, the minus 1 and 1 are a little bit more complicated. We're going to leave that for later videos. Now, the 2 means wild card character match. Now, what is a wild card character match? First, you have to understand what are wild cards. Let me draw that on my screen again. Within Excel, there are a few wild card characters. The first one is a question mark. Wildcard characters are the characters that can represent other characters. A question mark can represent any single character. Let's say if I have a name starting with SM ending with TH and I make my third letter to be this question mark, which is a wildcard character can represent any other single characters. Now, if I have a whole bunch of names, they all start with SM ending with TH or in the same manner, but the third letter could be I, could be Y, could be J, could be W, whatever. Since this question mark can represent any other characters, that means this will match with all those different names. Regardless of what that third letter is, as long as the other four characters are matching, then all those four will match with this SM question mark TH. So this is one type of partial match. You use a question mark to represent one single character. You can have two question mark or three. You decide how many you want to have. Then you have two question mark that will represent any two single characters. Now the second word called is Asterisk. Asterisk can represent any number of characters. And those characters are any characters, like A or B or C, X, Y, Z, whatever characters, they can be represented by asterisk. Now, this number can be any number, including even zero. That means the asterisk can represent 5 characters, or 10 characters, 100 characters, 1000 characters, or 1 characters, or 0 characters. Essentially, that means asterisk can represent everything, anything, and nothing. So now, let's go back to our X lookup. We do want to look up the beef and match the part name starting with the word beef. Then we are going to use a wildcard to help us to do the partial match. Then for the match type over here in the fifth argument, we are going to choose match type 2, which means wildcard character match. Now for the first argument, we have to incorporate the wildcard into the value for us to match. Then the first argument for this particular formula in the cell H11 will be looking for that cell G11, which is the cell have the word beef in it. And we are going to use a ampersand to combine with the asterisk. And asterisk is a text that had to be wrapped with double quotes. This ampersand means and. This is key number seven. When you do shift seven, you get this ampersand key. And the ampersand means it's combining two items together. So now with this ampersand, we'll combine that word beef with this asterisk. 
Now you understand this asterisk can represent any number of characters, anything, everything, and nothing. That means when we do X lookup looking for this G11, which is beef with asterisk, as long as the product name over here starting with beef, whatever character you have after that, they all can be represented by this asterisk. So the second product over here, beef steak, will match with this G11 and percent with asterisk. Now in this particular case, we're putting this asterisk after the beef, depending on your situation, your objective. You may combine this in a different way. You may put this asterisk in the front or at the end, or both front and at the end. You can also include those question mark in any place you want, depending on your objective, to do the partial matching. This is how we do XLOOKUP with partial match by setting up the fifth argument match type to be two, and then in the first argument, we have to use the wildcard characters like question mark or asterisk to represent other characters. Now, let me demonstrate this formula in my first sheet. So in this cell H11, we are going to do an X lookup, equal sign, XL, and then press the tab key to insert the function. We are looking for this G11 cell, but not just G11, we want to combine with that asterisk. So we are going to do ampersand, then double quote, and asterisk. The asterisk is a key number eight. When you do shift eight, you're getting this asterisk. And then double quote, comma. We'll look for that from where? Within this product name. So let's go to the column B, control, shift arrow down to select that range. F4 makes that absolute, then comma. Then what do we wish to return? We want to return the sales cases in column C. Let me use my left arrow key to go to column C then control shift arrow down to set that range, then F4 to make the absolute. Now, if we just close the bracket and enter, actually, let me try this. I'm getting NA because when I do this way, even though this asterisk is a wildcard, can represent other characters, but we're not doing that partial match. When we omit the fifth argument, the match type is exact match. It's going to treat this asterisk as asterisk, not as wildcard. In order to do the partial matching, now we do need to do the fifth argument. So a comma after the third argument. Now we're going to omit the fourth argument. I'm going to do another comma. So between the third and fourth comma, there's nothing. We're omitting the fourth argument. Now the fifth argument is a match type. We're going to do two for wildcard character match two. And we're going to omit the sixth argument, so no more. That will be the last one, and then enter. Now I'm getting 976, because this formula looks for B, and in this column B over here, the part name starting with beef will match with this beef asterisk. So this beef steak in the cell B12 is being matched, and then the corresponding cases, 976, is being returned. Now, if I copy the formula down, by select the cell first, then move the cursor to the bottom right corner, then drag that down. Now I get for Turkey, 373 cases, which is this one over here. And for pasta, we're getting 42, which is this one over here. And for pineapple, we're getting 295, which is this one over here. Now you may say for the Turkey, we actually have quite a few products starting with Turkey. Like those three, they all start with Turkey. And now we're getting only 373, which is the first one over here. So that's right, because the X lookup is looking for that first argument value within the second argument range. Once it finds a match, it stops. If you have more to match, only the first match will be returned. So that's why we're only getting the first one. Now you may wonder, if I do want to find other pineapple, other turkey products, can we get that down? You could, but not with XLOOKUP. And in the later videos of this series, I may show you how to use the function to return to the multiple matches. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it helpful. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can learn more. 
If you have any question, please write a comment below and I will answer your questions. In the fifth video of the XLOOKUP Inside Out series, you are going to learn how to do XLOOKUP in the order from bottom to top, right to left, rather than from top to bottom and left to right. I look forward to seeing you in the fifth lesson. Thank you.